Okay, I am at 4317 Plum. I just arrived, I opened the, the door, but I want to start with the outside. Um, here's a little panoramic view of, of where I'm at. Do see some single family homes here in the neighborhood as well. Looks pretty flat. You do have a pretty good sized tree here in the front. You see they've cut some limbs because of the because of the power lines and stuff. They've done some some tree trimming. This tree as well is pretty big. But it's sort of away from the house. You can see maybe a little bit of trimming here on this exterior branches, but the, the bulk of the tree is a good, uh, I don't know, 70 feet away from the house. Looks pretty flat. We'll walk around the property here and then we'll take a look inside. So you see uh, their, their property's fence, so you can piggyback onto that. You know what? This is a single family house, isn't it? I thought it was uh, a mobile, but it looks a lot like a single family to me. And it looks like it might have a, a crawl space underneath, as opposed to a uh, on a slab. Here's your AC system. It's like a little bit of a shed. You can see through it pretty easy. Pretty good sized tree, some branches hanging over it. Another old shed. You have a good old branch there. You get a lot of moss that's hanging on these uh, branches. Yeah, it looks, it looks like kind of like a block construction. And then it's like a, some type of a shed or a storage container that's on, on this side of the building. Interesting structure. So, yeah, you have right here a single family house, block house right here. Next door they have a PVC fence. So this this right here is unfenced for both the, both these properties. All right, let's take a look inside this property. Say it's block. Say it's a block house. It's strange. It seems like all the block homes are like on a slab, but I'm thinking this is. Uh, I see a lot of like uh, vents and stuff underneath, right? So it seems like it's it's um, sitting up with on a foundation. All right. So inside the property. You have the uh, almost reminds me of an office. It has like a uh, cardboard type of ceiling. Like a, I'm not tall enough to reach it, but it looks very much like it's almost like sheetrock that's sliced or something. So you have like a little living room here, or from you know, I'd almost uh, take down this wall and make this more wide open. It does have a pocket door. So now I see it has a uh, a wall unit, and I'm not noticing any vents in the ceiling. So I don't know. Um, 
If there's AC or if it's, we saw the AC on the side, right? Maybe they did it to make it extra cold. I know I'm kind of exploring this as we go. Let's see. We have this, uh, that's probably a hot tub that was there. Particle board. All right, so then you have your AC coming in from the ceiling, kind of like uh, the way a mobile is. You have it coming in from the ceiling. Here's your thermostat. You see it's over 80 degrees and it feels it. It feels warm in here. <laughs> Frog. So probably uh, an elderly person here. You can see the bar support. I had that for my mom. So they have those extra bar supports for getting, getting up and down. Those have the vents in the ceiling or on the floor, I should say. This house is vacant, I was told. Some extra storage up here. Does have a floor to it so it's not just it doesn't you know go all the way through and then you have this okay so this is probably your master then right because it has this private bathroom to it uh, one person shower stall So some of the railing as well. So basically we have our master here. We have a, a bedroom here and a bathroom. This is, I guess, like a linen closet. And then there's also this one. And then there's also this one. So a lot of different spots here where there's some storage. So that's that side of the house, basically two bedrooms, two baths. And we do see a couple different vents coming up from the floor. I think they have the uh, temperature up, maybe so that it doesn't run as hard. But it is a little bit warm in here. So in here, you can see the block construction. One car garage, bay. Washer dryer. It's of course to the outside. And then this last section to hold another car. workshop so this seems like an addition onto the house An old TV. So no garage door opener there, but there is one on this one. A 
hot water heater. Electrical panel. Panel looks pretty new. Hot water heater doesn't look too bad. They're not that expensive anyway, but. All right, kitchen. See out to the front, we'll pass through. Let's have another vent. You hear it's running. It slides a lot better than the one in Plant City, I'll tell you that. See the neighbor has a pool in the back. That fence is probably your boundary, I would think. You got your well right there. I believe this is on septic as well, I think. Antique pox, very contagious to adults. I think it's someone's sense of humor. Yeah, I think that wall unit is just to make it extra cold in here. And they have it turned up because they're not living here. You see another old thermostat. See the block construction here on this uh, patio. <laughs> Chicken next door. The roof didn't look bad, and I can try to get some uh, information about roof AC stuff like that. Take a quick peek at the roof here before I end this video. Quiet road. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Bye.